today on Divorce Court. When I first met Misty, she weighed over 400 pounds, and I believe that has a lot to do with her insecurities. Lewis has cheated on me several times throughout our relationship. If Misty don't change, I'm, I'm gonna have to leave this relationship because I can't deal with the anger and all the anxiety and everything. I just can't do it no more, you know. I'm honestly confused. My mom taught me to be a very forgiving person, and I don't know if I'm forgiving Lewis too much. Divorce Court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Misty Johnstone and Lewis Stevenson. The two of you have been together for three years, but you do not want to be together anymore. You do not have any children together, although you have two children and you have four from previous relationships. Ms. Johnstone, why don't you tell me uh, how you got into this situation and why you want to end it here today? Yes, ma'am. Um, when I first, uh, when me and Lewis first started, uh, got back in contact, um, we got back in contact on co social media, mm -hmm. and um, I, I was contacting him in order to reconnect him with an uh, old friend of his, and when I did that, he, instead of looking for the old friend, um, pursued me. And when he did, um... No, were you trying to hook him up with another lady? No, ma'am. I, um, it was, it's actually a uh, ex of mine, uh, that I was with for eight years, mm -hmm. who I met him through. And right. me and him had been separated for two years. We uh -huh. had been, uh, broke up and, um, uh, he had, uh, moved away from the place that we lived out here to California as well. Uh -huh. And, um, we had been in contact and he didn't have any friends out here. Um, and so, gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, I gotcha. So, you, you, you met up with him online. What, how did it proceed from there? Um, and I don't even think he ever even looked, tried to find the other person. He just kind of was like, well, hey, you know, what's up with you? And, um, you know, I, um, I wasn't really looking for anybody at the time, but he kind of said all the right things. Don't they know. all? Yes, yes, they do. <laughs> I don't know why people can't figure that part out. If they're saying all the right things, it isn't magic, it's practice. Right, yeah. <laughs> and, but, you know, um, <laughs> he, I guess he kind of went about things differently than most men had. I've been a single mother for 20 years, so most men don't really approach me anyways, and I was also very overweight at the time. So, um, you know, so it was different. And I thought that because, you know, he was going about it, he asked questions, you know, what are you looking for? You know, and, yeah, um, yeah, you know, that, yeah. yeah, that's, that's Mac and 101. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> I figured it so out. So how long <laughs> did you guys talk on the internet before you started seeing each other in person? Um, well, it went from, um, he lived in South Carolina and I lived here in California, so we talked for about a month on social media before I moved him out here. That if you had a daughter. I have a daughter. And she met a guy on the internet. I would have told Would you tell him to move it? When you say move him out of here, did you pay for it? I did pay for it. I thought we were... If I was your mother, they'd still be extracting my foot from your behind. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> and you have children in the home? Yes, ma'am. Do you know how wrong that is? I did discuss it with my kids first. I, you know, sat them down and talked to them about it. Um, when we, when me and Lewis first, uh, you know, got, had interaction, he also represented himself as a perfect gentleman to me. And so he, who wouldn't? Right. I mean, a serial killer time... is not going to call you and say, yeah, I like to beat women, tie them up, and then I might slit their throat. And yeah, I like 15-year-olds. Well, I know you have a 15-year-old daughter. When you're right. asleep, I'm gonna go do her. I understand that. They don't say that. that. We, we met, we met uh, in person at first, though. We did meet in person at first. And Ted we Bundy met that was time, charming we... when you met yeah. him in person. Yeah. Right before I he killed you. That. I do understand that. Holy moly. And what were you doing, Mr. Stevenson? I was at a bad point stage in my life at the time. I didn't really know what I wanted. You, I know what you wanted. You wanted a place to stay. No, you wanted no, somebody to pay your bills. I want... I... 30 days, a dude don't move across country in 30 days for a chick that he don't really know unless he's looking to be kept. Well, I've always had a dream of coming to California. I, I went by it the wrong way. And she way. financed it for you? Yes, ma'am, she did. Are you still supporting him? 
No, ma'am. He did. He moved out here, and um, he worked for uh, he uh, for three months. He looked for a job. Uh -huh. um, he was actively seeking employment. He was doing that. Um, I had to, you know, he's not very tech uh, tech savvy, so I had to get on the computer and log him in, and you know, uh, help him with you know figuring out how to search for jobs and stuff like that online. And I would take him. Um, I was the only one with the vehicle at a time, so I would take him job searches. So I know that he was looking for a job. Um, it was about three months, and my family did kind of start getting, you know, frustrated, kind of asking questions like, "Is he really, you know, looking for a job?" But um, and in I would return, take you got companionship. Them. What price? Well, I didn't even get that, to, to be pay. honest with you. I haven't even got companionship. Well, to be Mr. Stevenson, let me talk to you for a second. What was your game plan? What were you looking to get done? Well, basically, I was catfishing to, to get to California. That's, that's how it started off. Okay. I, I'm not proud of it, but I'm admitting it. I was wrong. I appreciate that. Yes, I appreciate that. Once you got out there, then how did the relationship progress, if indeed it progressed at all? Well, at the time when I met her, she was overweight. That probably ties into her insecurities and all. But, um, I mean, I basically just... I made it happen, Judge. I mean, I realized, I, I, after a couple of months, I realized that she was a good woman. And now, I pay all the bills, I take care of everything. And when I mean everything, I mean everything. Does he take care of everything? He takes care of everything, but he doesn't cease to let me know it. He doesn't allow me to feel comfortable with it, and he makes me feel guilty about it every single day of my life. And I've been sick for the last two and a half years, and he holds it over my head that I can't work because I'm sick. What does he say to you or what does he do that makes you feel guilty? Um, like when we're discussing, um, you know, bills or finances, he'll say, or like if we're discussing something that maybe we need or maybe I want or anything like that, it's, um, well, we got these bills to pay. And then he'll say something like, but you wouldn't know that, would you? Even though I've been a single mother for 20 years, paying bills for 20 years. It's to divert back into my old ways and smoking crack and doing all this stuff. You got? I got busy. Because mm -hmm. back in the days when I was smoking crack, I was used to smoking crack and women. Smoking crack and women. So, so that's what I was used to. You just skipped the crack part and went straight to the women. Sometimes I'd be doing them both at the same time. let you respond to her allegations that you make her feel guilty uh, for the fact that you're paying all the bills. Is that true? Sometimes, yes. And, and, and why is that? Because she, she, I feel like, to me, she be getting on my nerves, so I, I be well, she, How just... does she get on your nerves? It could be a normal things, Judge. I mean... Give me a list. Tell me one or two, anything. <laughs> I mean, it, we could be having an all right day and my phone ring and then all break loose, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, just because of my phone. Is she worried about you running around with other women? Is that what, is well, she jealous? She's, she's insecure, Judge. Mm -hmm. Very insecure. I mean, I, I know I'm wrong. Well, you took her for a ride. That's she got I a did. reason to be insecure. Yes, ma'am, I did. And I've been... <laughs> but I've been faithful for this past year. You've been faithful for a year and now. I've been, I, I go that to I know of. I don't think he's been faithful for a year. Okay. I, ha I well, have, Your Honor. Okay. Ms. Johnstone, let me ask you this. Um, you say he spends all of his money on himself, all his spare money on himself and not on you. Why don't you explain to him... I mean, I, I see where some of it goes. Yes, ma'am. Uh, he loves... Obviously, he loves his gold, and he's going to make sure everybody knows it. Um, he also has a truck that he has rims on and a system in that's way too loud for me and my uh, stomach problems. Um, he'll go and buy himself food, and he won't even worry about me at all. And I cook for him. Every night that I don't cook for him, I have... If I don't cook for him, I am probably gonna cook for myself anyways. Mr. Stevenson, are you coming up that light? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> wow. You say he's cheated on you 13 times, is that true? Yes, ma'am, 13 times and in, uh, four, uh, four separate occasions. Like one woman a couple times? Well, no, one woman. Uh, there was uh, three separate women, and then there was ten women within a matter of three days. How did you manage that? Well, for one, Your Honor, it was a, a lie. I lied to her uh -huh. once again. I just, don't care what just the... Hang on, get, hang on. Just to get up on her skin at the time, and uh, I finally came clear to her that it was only five. I just told her ten. I exaggerate. I have a tendency to he exaggerate. Let me think for a wait a minute. Wait, five minutes, five women in three days. That's still interesting. <laughs> well, how'd you manage that? 
back page. Oh, you call them up. Call them up, give them that money, it's on. It's an internet site. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. But what led to that, she's not what telling did, you. Well, why don't you tell me what led what to led that? What led to that, okay, I'm just, I was up to no good, kind of, anyway. Mm -hmm. I was looking, browsing the website. To start from the beginning, what really did it lead to? Because where was I at? Well, she Ms. was out of town. Okay. So, I, like I where, said, no, I was I was out of town wrong. doing what? She was not Miss Johnstone. Hang was, on now. It's she was really busy important. her mother. I'm going I'm to ask you about it, but let him yeah. finish his she story. She was busy her Tell mother. Tell me what you did. Okay, so at the time, by me being a recovering addict and all that, and got a lot of, had a lot of stuff going on, instead of divert back into my old ways and smoking crack and doing all this stuff, you got... I got busy. Because mm -hmm. back in the days when I was smoking crack, I was used to smoking crack and women. Smoking crack and women. So, so that's what I was used to. you just skipped the crack part and went straight to the women. Sometimes I'd be doing them both at the same time. Okay. Hey, I was just like that, you know? But, but he's I not mean... telling you I wasn't visiting my mom. My mom passed and I was out there mourning her. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't visiting my mom. Have you no moral compass? Is there no floor below which you won't go? Is there nothing that that just makes makes your, your soul shrivel up a little bit, if not other parts? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now, yes. Yeah. At the time, I was just got out here. I had just started working. I had just started making a little bit of money. I was trying to help her get the regular van fixed better. Given your background, you should know better than to hand a drug addict any property of any value. I mean, that doesn't even make sense. Does Lewis truly love Misty, or is he just using her? Tell us what you think at Facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Divorce Court. Ms. Johnstone, uh, understandably, you would be distraught by Mr. Stevenson's behavior, but I understand your response is less than rational. Can you tell me? Well, no, 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 let me ask Mr. Stevenson. How does she respond to your antics? So, Judge, when she get angry at me, she just blurt out the N-word. And, you no, know, where I'm from, you know, you just don't. You, you just don't do that. You don't do that. You know, you just don't do it, you know? And how did you respond to that? I mean, I wanted to choke her out and, and slap her. But, but, since I've been going to my therapy, my therapist, he encouraged me to go by different ways. Did you go by a different way? Oh, yes, ma'am. Most definitely. Were you reasonable? Oh, very reasonable. I ain't in jail. Mr. J Ms. Johnston, <laughs> your standards are so low. Hey, hey. It's, it, it, your standards are so low, Ms. Johnstone. Did, is, is that how you went about it? Um, I, I got to a point where I feel like I'm grasping straws with him. I don't know, like, nothing I do gets a reaction out of him. As you can see, he's, you know, he's not shocked with anything. Um, he does outrageous things. So it's like, you know, when... Uh, you're going through this process of, you know, trying to make this relationship work and you're, you know, uh, fight, you know, constantly fighting, constantly trying to make yourself known, constantly trying to make yourself be noticed and constantly trying to get your feelings out there and for them to always only be ignored. It's like, you know, what else do you do besides the last? And to be honest with you, my mom would roll over in her grave. Yeah. She, you know. I'm not... I don't get wired by that word because I don't allow anybody to say anything to me that will redirect my day. That's, if I'm successful if I own all the, all the feelings during my day, so I'm not going to lean on you about that. You know yeah, how deep it was and how wrong it is, and I'm not going to go there. Absolutely. My question to you is, are you stuck with him? I do feel like I'm trapped. Um, I had a vehicle when he came here, and he took that vehicle from me. Um, he, uh... I'll let you answer. He, I was sick. Most of the time I was in bed sleeping. You know, I couldn't get out of bed. He would drive my vehicle wherever he wanted to go. He used it for whatever he wanted to do. And after things came out, now I have to wonder what he was doing while he was driving my van. Does he still have it? No. He, um, the van started, uh, tearing up. It started messing up. And when it did, he, uh, asked a tweaker to 
take it off somewhere and go fix it. And I never saw a it again after is that. Is that a off, off a car repairman? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tweaking. A tweaking, yeah. yeah. A shade tree mechanic that's Why on milk. you take your car to a person who does substances? But that don't make as, sense. As I explained, at the time, I was just got out here. I had just started working. I had just started making a little bit of money. I was trying to help her get the regular van fixed better. Given your background, you should know better than to hand a drug addict any property of any value. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't even make sense. Yes, ma'am. That was that was fully my fault. That's why I take full responsibility. And it's like I told her, she she's gonna have a truck. If she can have two trucks. He's bought know? three vehicles since uh, he lost my van, and none of them are for me. And he tells me I can't drive his truck. Do you do that? I used to do that. Yes. You did it two days ago. No, no. I not, accidentally left oh, the car unlocked at Walmart. I, I know exactly what's happening Wait. here. You you're, you're seeking thirty six hundred dollars, correct? I'm seeking a new vehicle that he has said he owes me, and I'm seeking six hundred dollars a month in uh, transitional support for and six we, months. And we will talk about that. Why do you think Lewis has stayed in a three year relationship with Misty? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. So you're looking to have your truck replaced and for $3,600, six months transitional support. You're trying to get out of the house? Yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm trying to get out of this bad situation I feel like I'm in. How much do you think that truck was worth? Um, I, have, I put about maybe $1,000 on it. I traded another vehicle for it and put cash down on it, and I mean... Mr. Stevenson, do you feel any obligation to assist this individual in getting up and getting out and getting a life of her own? Yes, ma'am. She, I mean, I told her that either whether we together or we not, I told her she, if she do leave this relationship, she not going, I'm not going to let her leave the relationship with less than she came with. Mm -hmm. You know, if it take every penny I got, I'm gonna give it to her. But I asked him in June to have me a truck by July so I could leave, and he didn't do that. That's why we're here. Because yeah, Judge, I, because judge, I've you been know, asking we got him. this thing called bills. Mm -hmm. You know, and they don't stop coming. You know, but I don't. You know, I want to test basis on something real quick. I got some evidence to show you how her anger is, how she get. And this was over really a phone call that was wasn't even nothing. And I love my toilet seat. She know I like my bathroom time, and she did that just to spite me. A woman called. Hey, 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 You got a lot of nerve wondering why somebody gets upset with you. You came out here and admitted to catfishing this woman, using her for her money, using her to get out here. Then you went into her home. She had a kid she was raising. You used her for her money. And then not only that, you, you cheated on her. And you make her feel bad about wanting, needing anything at all. You show no soul. Mm, yeah. You show clear through. Yeah. You're, you're right above pimp bottom feeder. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right there. Yes, How you can stand there, draped, dripped in probably false gold or if it's real gold no no i don't i don't i don't falsify you don't falsify i don't falsify nothing yeah no. you don't falsify i'm the real deal I you the play. real deal yes ma'am as, as far as that as far as when it comes to that goes concerned? yeah let me tell you what real deal real deal you're going to pay her five thousand hey. dollars that's the real deal yeah miss johnstone get a backbone get a Fine. Get, you know, get up, get out, get on with it, and don't believe it anymore. Don't, you know, the pr what price companionship, really? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's been a long time $5,000 in favor of Mrs. John Stone. It is so ordered. I don't believe Lewis ever loved me. I thought at one time that he did love me, but I, you know, with everything that's went on, I don't think that he ever has really loved me. I don't think he's capable of love. And I think I'm just gonna, you know, make sure that I focus on me now and take care of myself. I don't really think she's gonna leave me. You know, I can pretty much guarantee you we'll be back recapping this show and we're gonna get married. You know, because that's what I'm going for. You know, no matter how she feel or how whoever else feel, I don't care. You know, it's all about me and her.